Now I have the honor of presenting the 2022 ARMA Distinguished Service Award. This award is presented to an individual or organization providing outstanding service to the community. The 2022 ARMA Distinguished Service Award recipient is Dr. Amish Shah. In his capacities as public servant in the Arizona House of Representatives, as well as a practicing emergency medicine physician, Dr. Shah is a champion for Arizona physicians and patients. Dr. Shah's bipartisan voting record exemplifies his commitment to advancing good public policies and putting Arizona first. An excellent example of this commitment is House Bill 2431 for Emergency Medical Services and Patient Transport, sponsored by Dr. Shah. After recognizing a major discrepancy in EMS transport patterns compared with local and national standards of care, Dr. Shah responsibly introduced targeted legislation that will prohibit EMTs from providing a preliminary diagnosis and counseling patients out of being transported to a hospital. When Dr. Shah is not engaged in work at the Capitol or meeting with his constituents in Central, Central Phoenix, you can find him in the emergency department, leading medical teams, and saving lives. Congratulations, Dr. Shah and thank you for your continued commitment to medicine and the Arizona community. Thank you all. My name is Amish Shah and I am an emergency physician. I'm also a member of the Arizona House of Representatives. Uh, I am a proud member of the Arizona Medical Association and I'm so honored to receive the Distinguished Service Award for 2022. ARMA has been an incredible source of support for me over the last four years, and I could not have been successful in passing so much legislation without the staunch backing of our team I hope that we can continue to be partners for years to come. To all the physicians out there that are members, please know that this organization cares deeply about all of us, our patients, and our cherished principles. I became a physician to serve people, and I hope I have done my best throughout my career to stay true to that oath that we all took in medical school. I still remember my medical school professors telling me to listen to my conscience and do the right thing. Treat people with empathy, compassion, respect, and listen to them. I entered politics for the same reasons, and while it is challenging on another level, I continue to hear those words to be true to the people I serve. When I first began my work, I was focused on addressing the issues surrounding burnout for healthcare workers, including violence in the workplace, administrative burdens, and malpractice. Last year, we were successful in passing historic reform in the way of prior authorization bill and the healthcare non-retaliation bill. This year, with ARMA's help, we are on track to create a wellness program for physicians, pass the bill to address assault against healthcare workers, get rid of surgical smoke in the operating room, and address several issues that directly will benefit our patients, such as EMS reform and easier HIV screening. Over the last two years, we have also guided the legislature and the governor with regard to the pandemic to set science-based policy. ARMA's growing influence at the Capitol has been noticed, and I look forward to making us even a stronger voice than we are today. I want to specifically acknowledge Jonna Morris, Steve Barclay, Libby McDaniel, Amanda Rusing, Megan McCabe, as well as Drs. Ross Goldberg, Bill Thompson, Miriam Anand, Susan Whiteley, and Terry Pritchard, as well as countless others that I haven't uh, mentioned here that have been such supporters of mine. They've taken a lot of phone calls from me whenever I needed them. I appreciate all of you and the trust you've placed in me, and I hope to make you proud. Thank you.